We've been camping here by the Pacific Ocean for a couple of days, but now it is time to move inland and continue exploring. We're going to visit some TV and movie filming locations. You know, Hollywood. Then we might visit some hot springs and even a very interesting lava field. All that coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Our next destination is Castaic uh, Lake RV Park in it's near Santa Clarita, California. The drive on California State Route 126, very nice actually, with some mountains, agricultural areas, and it's gonna take about an hour, give or take. I almost forgot to mention it, but in a way, this is the beginning of the return trip back to Florida. From now on, we'll be generally driving to the east. Here we switch over to I-5, which pretty bumpy and under construction, not the best road. And that boat, doesn't it seem a little too wide? It looked like it was gonna bump into the truck next to it a few seconds ago. So I'm going to stay at Castaic Lake RV Park here at 55 bucks a night. I just need a decent place with full hookups, get some work done. You know, the forecast calls for bad weather and I also need to get some packages shipped to me, so this is probably gonna be perfect. How about we cook us some lunch here? You know, I skipped breakfast this morning. I have some bacon here about to go bad and um, some sausage. We're going to add an onion and some garlic. By the way, another reason I'm staying here, my godmother lives nearby in Santa Clarita, so I'm going to go visit her. Haven't seen her in a few years. And who am I kidding? Of course, we're gonna do some touristy stuff around the area. You know, Hollywood is only like 30 miles away. This is starting to look so good. Ooh, and the smell. I wish you all had smell of vision I'm gonna add one of my signature ingredients, that Vino Seco dry cooking wine that I brought all the way from Miami, by the way. Some black pepper. Smoked paprika. Another one of my signature ingredients. Some cumin. Mm, doesn't want to come out. Oregano. And cilantro. Love cilantro. Gives everything this fresh taste. Like a mojito. I haven't really told you yet what I'm making, have I? I still have some organic tomato sauce from Publix. And I hope the state of California doesn't mind that I smuggle that in. Or maybe processed tomatoes are okay. In any case, you know we can't let any of this go to waste, right? I am making some spaghetti. And I'm gonna try to do something new. I'm gonna try to make it a one-pot meal. Hmm, this isn't working out so well, is it? My pot is too small. Oh well, now I've got spaghetti everywhere. I'm gonna have to disassemble my range at some point because some of it fell into the black hole. If your RV came with an Atwood range like this one, you know what I'm talking about. Hmm, maybe there's hope. The box said 10 to 11 minutes, but this is not even close. A little more water, maybe? Yeah, I think it's getting there. I have no idea how this came out, but... Well, we'll soon find out, right? Hmm, pretty good, actually. Well, I figured let's uh, go see this lake that gives uh, this Arabic park its name. Castaic 
the Castaic Lagoon. It's right here, just north of us, and then Castaic Lake. There's the Castaic Dam. I'm going to drive a little further up this hill here to get a better view. Okay, here we are. Pretty nice view. The RV park is somewhere down there in that general direction. Oh, there it is. Let's continue. Let's get a little higher. Actually, a little lower. I really have no idea where I'm going. I'm just wandering aimlessly. It looks like you have to pay to get in here, so we're not gonna do that. I don't have a boat to launch or anything like that. I'm just interested in the scenery, really. So let's politely turn around. Well, here's another great view of uh, Upper Castaic Lake. Needless to say, I had never heard of this lake before, but now we have, and here we are. Let's go. There's the dam down there, and I'm always amazed by the engineering marvel that is a dam. How it can stop the formidable force of the water. Even if this one is not the most impressive one I've ever seen, let's be honest. Back to the RV park we go! We are pretty good looking sunset. The RV park doesn't look like much at first sight, but the staff is super nice and friendly and accommodating. They even give you a little bag with goodies when you arrive. Some of the RVs, hmm, a little on the rundown side, but other than that. It is a very nice and quiet place. The camera doesn't really do it justice, does it? As I mentioned, in the morning I went to visit my madrina, who lives in Santa Clarita, spent most of the day there catching up. Now we are going to a park that the locals don't seem to think much of, but if you are remotely into classic Star Trek, you will recognize immediately. It is also relatively close to my madrina's house so beautiful out here, even if perhaps a little dry. Does it look familiar at all? It is called Vasquez Rock's natural area, filming location for innumerable movies and TV shows. Why such a popular filming location? Well, it looks exotic enough, and its proximity to the Hollywood studios may have something to do with it. It looks like they are doing some kind of shoot here today. They are using a modified RV. Let's do some rock climbing. Well, here we are at the famous Vasquez Rocks. Uh, which has been a natural setting for many movies and TV shows, uh, particularly that episode Arena. 
in the original Star Trek series, in which uh, James T. Kirk battles the reptilian. Let's go for a little more of a hike here up the rock. Uh, just a quick little hike here. I did forget to bring my hiking shoes. Again. I'm just gonna walk around, try not to get lost. Any one of these spots could have been a perfect filming location for that battle in Star Trek I was talking about, but there is no AT&T coverage here, so I have no way to find out. I am basically hiking around one of the main rock formations. In my excitement, I forgot to do more research or get a trail map or something beforehand. And I'm back where I started. And this seems to be roughly the same spot where they filmed the scene in Star Trek, finally found it. Come to think of it, I should have come in the morning. Better light. There's someone all the way up there. Should I do it? It is actually very tempting to climb up there, you know. I mean, how hard could it be? And the views are going to be spectacular. I guess it is not as easy as it looked from the ground. And as I mentioned, I forgot to bring my hiking shoes. Yeah, don't say anything, but my climb was an epic fail. Pretty amazing. Well, I'm thinking perhaps I parked a little too far. I think I'm that way. Yeah. It is a pretty surreal place here. I am really glad I came. By the way, free to visit. It is magic hour, all right. Quite a few people at different vantage points, filming, taking pictures. Like this photo shoot here coming up in this van. I'm gonna drive to the area where we were earlier, real quick here, and then I'm off. They're gonna start kicking people out of here pretty soon. I think they close at sunset. Did I tell you, tomorrow it is supposed to rain all day? I really hope they are wrong. Well, good morning. Wasn't there a song that said that it never rained in Southern California? What happened? Oops, I did it again. I brought the rain back from Florida all the way over here. It's going to be a nasty day all day. Uh, they're predicting 100% rain, which is happening right now. And we are actually under a flash flood uh, war uh, watch. If it were a warning, I would be a little more worried, but it's only flash. By the way, this, this RV park really nice, except for a couple of sites uh, back there, which are permanent, and the RVs look uh, a little run down. 
it is very nice, pretty centrally located, Castaic Lake here, just a couple of miles away. And um, Santa Clarita, where I was yesterday, also very close by. And um, and yeah, it's, it's very centrally located right next to I-5, which is good. And um, and the folks, very, very nice, very nice. And a decently stocked uh, shop as well. This is called the Castaic Lake RV Park. And, um, and I'm just gonna stay indoors most of the day because it doesn't look pretty. And um, I'm gonna edit some video. And um, tomorrow, we'll probably go to Sequoia National Park if all goes well, if, if the weather holds up tomorrow. Uh, someone said that it's gonna, it was gonna rain the whole weekend, which is no good. But I had to catch up on some work. Yeah, here you see that that old airstream has like a tarp on the roof. You know, some of the RVs are perhaps not best maintained. But that's totally fine. Maybe I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Well, check it out. The sun came out and I just had this crazy idea. Let's go down to Hollywood. Well, yeah, it's like a miracle. All of a sudden, the sun came out. And now we've got blue skies. Beautiful day. So why not take advantage of the two hours or so of daylight we have left? Hollywood is just over 30 miles away, 45 minutes with traffic. It is actually a pretty beautiful drive, especially at this time of the day. We're almost there. The Capitol Records Building. Here's our exit coming up. Hollywood Boulevard. I'm not gonna park or anything like that, but the least I can do is do the touristy thing, at least from the comfort of my truck, right? There, now we are officially cruising the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Coming up, the famous Pantages Theatre, which hosted the Academy Awards during the 1950s, and the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Vine, also part of the Walk of Fame, but here they don't have a star, they have the moon dedicated to the Apollo 11 astronauts, one of the few not directly related to the entertainment industry. As we continue driving west on Hollywood Boulevard, it gets progressively more and more touristy. Places like the Museum of Illusions, souvenir shops, a wax museum. Coming up, the Kodak Theater. Uh, oh wait, it's not the Kodak anymore, the Dolby Theater as we are approaching here the epicenter of all the action. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to that video somewhere. That one time when we got off the car and actually walked the Walk of Fame. And coming up here is the Chinese Theater. That's where they have the star's handprints and footprints engraved on the concrete sidewalk. And their signatures too. Okay, let's get out of here. The Magic Castle. It is apparently a private magician's club. Eh, a little bit of traffic here. Take the next right onto North Las Palmas Avenue. Uh oh. I think we're lost. In 1000 feet, turn right onto Whitley Terrace. One narrow street, you know, this is... Yes, definitely lost on the narrow residential streets of Hollywood. The Hollywood you don't usually see. That is, unless you play GTA V, where it is called Vinewood. In fact, I think Amanda's tennis instructor lives, or shall I say lived, somewhere around here. If you've never played GTA V, I'm sorry, please indulge me here for a few more seconds. In any case, I really like exploring the back streets of a city, away from the beaten path. Let's let the FedEx truck pass here, we both don't fit at the same time.
This almost looks like the street where Michael and Amanda live. Avenue. I feel like I'm playing GTA 5, but in real life. Okay, no more GTA 5 references, I promise. At least for now. Okay, let's change direction here. Let's go to another one of Los Santos, sorry, I mean Los Angeles quintessential landmarks. Hmm, this has changed. There's park and hike or paid parking near the observatory. Paid parking? Seems to be a trend, huh? Everything that was free now costs money. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm supposed to make a right. Well, I will guess I'll be making a U-turn at some point. dollars an hour to park here at the Griffith Observatory. Seems steep, but hey, it's one of the most popular places around here, right? And it is not like I got to park right at the observatory. I still do have to walk about a third of a mile. Very nice views. I don't know if eight dollars an hour worth, but very nice indeed. Sometimes, you just managed to turn off the camera precisely at the wrong moment. You can see the Hollywood sign back there already. I will see it better from a little further up. There it is, the Griffith Observatory. Hopefully the rain has cleaned the atmosphere and we'll get a much clearer view from the top. I can already see it's a very clear view coming this way. Actually, this is about the clearest I've ever seen the Los Angeles metropolitan area. There's usually this haze, this heavy smog. But not today. We're getting crystal clear views. Here we are. We've made it to the top. We've made it. This is, of course, the Griffith Observatory. You've seen it in many movies, even an episode of Star Trek Voyager, and, uh, and of course, GTA 5. <laughs> so, let's see what the view is now from over there, which is the famous view of, of the valley of Los Angeles, Hollywood. <laughs> what have they done here? They added some glass, maybe? Yeah, and there's the Hollywood sign. It's really tiny. As I expected today, since it rained, the view is amazingly clear. The air is very clear today, so we get a perfect view of downtown LA. <laughs> Tourists from all over the world, as well as some locals and photographers, congregate here for the, shall I say, commanding view.
I guess while it was raining down here, it was snowing up there. And um, I have a feeling we'll see plenty of snow soon enough. Okay, sunset's coming up. Well, the sun finally came out from behind the clouds, giving everything a golden glow. Well, it's definitely a magic hour here. And uh, I'm gonna shoot the, the sunset and then off we go. looks pretty spectacular. I'm sure the camera doesn't capture it as your eyes do because your eyes are HDR so maybe I need an HDR camera in the future. But yeah, it's, uh, it was an amazing sunset. Now it's time to head back to Santa Clarita and I think my parking is almost expired so I hope I don't get a ticket. But yeah, lots of people here taking pictures from all over the world. It's wonderful. By the way, the temperature is dropping too. My fingertips are getting numb. I just can't get enough of this place. I'm so glad I came. Yeah, I parked pretty far away. By the way, there's the Hollywood sign. I-5 North, just a little bit congested, wouldn't you say? Good morning, I made me a little omelette with veggies and cheese and uh, well, let's melt that cheese. Oh. Well, bon appétit. All systems go, ready for departure. This RV park even had a pool that I never went to. Well, it's been cold anyways. Not the most beautiful RV park I've ever been to, but the staff more than made up for it with their attitude and excellent customer service. You see, the same way I criticize other places when they're bad, I give credit when credit is due, and these people were great. I would return here just because of that. We're going north, towards the Bakersfield area. 
which is a little over an hour drive, but we're going to take a longer route through Lancaster and Mojave, because it is too early. I have to kill about an hour to arrive by check-in time. Passing by Vasquez Rocks once again. Nice views. And there is a Vista Point coming up, so let's stop. This the Vista Point. A bit hazy. I'm sure it would be much better on a clear day. All right, let's continue. The lady who helps my godmother in the house she lives in Lancaster and she told me that there is this music road that makes music as you drive over the grooves on the pavement. So let's check it out. A bunch of old RVs over there. I wonder if that's BLM land. Musical road. <laughs> and we are back in the land of the Joshua Tree, the Mojave Desert. There's the Mojave Air and Space Port. They even have an aircraft boneyard. That's a big Joshua Tree. So beautiful. Well, I have an idea. I think I am going to save the hot springs and the rest of it for the next video, because I don't want to run too long here. We are on our way to Bakersfield, and that's going to be my home base for the next two days. And then we'll see if the weather cooperates. There are still lots of adventures ahead of us. We're gonna go to Death Valley, Las Vegas, Zion National Park. We're gonna do another section of Route 66, Oklahoma City, Little Rock. I can't wait to show you all these videos. By the way, there's still time if you want to attend the San Antonio Rally June 20th through the 23rd, 2019. RVCaravanWithUs.com is the place to go. Speak to Paul or Tina and they will give you all the details. It is going to be so much fun and we'll get to spend some time together. By the way, would you take a look at this change of scenery all of a sudden? It's so beautiful out here with all these green-ish hills. Let me tell you, it's almost emotional to see this and the reason why we travel. To see what lies beyond the next mountain pass. Until the next one, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. So we went to the, from the mountains of Santa Clarita the desert of Mojave, to the rolling hills we just saw, to this beautiful agricultural area within two hours. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>